Boom, welcome to Crypto's news, reviews, and overviews. In today's news, we're going to be looking at Terra USTC spikes a whopping 33%, causing a lot of people to back the token and see if it could pump higher. Also, Cardano dips below May lows, causing a frenzy of people buying the dip on the relief rally. It dipped 8% and quickly shot back up. Also, news, the Tron hack. We've seen a lot of hacks in the recent weeks with the BTC chain getting hacked and also now Tron. And lastly, we're going to look at XRP. A lot of analysts are seeing bullish news on this and thinking XRP could bounce to $1 by the end of this week or next. So if you want to look at them cool headlines, stay tuned and let's get into the news. Hi, I'm Christian and this is Crypto Ripto. So kicking off today's news, Terra USTC spikes at 33% after talks of a repegging. Here you can see the proposal and Anderson wrote it is the assumption that if we can continue growing our network effect while stabilizing the current price volatility via encouraging increase in staking and staking and on-chain utility, then eventually the market will reward us with increasing the valuation and enough liquidity to both repeg the USTC and further expand our platform. So what it's saying it wants to repeg the USTC, then use it as a new stable fund. But is this too little too late? Here you can see that the USTC is up 72% in the last seven days, according to the crypto slate. It's 24 hour trading volume of over 330 million. So there is a lot of money coming in and out of this project, but has the support for this token gone? Or are people still ready to back this and put it back to a peg token? Only time will tell, but let me know what you think in the comments. News. Cardano dips below May lows. Now you will have probably seen me in my socials if you follow me to say that Cardano took an 8% dip and people started buying frenzy back up on the relief rally. Here it also says that it's dipping down into its red zones. Ada just cleared the May lows. I think if it reclaims a red zone, it could be an interesting long. No reason to knife catch it here, but just to settle to add to your watch list. That's saying you don't need to ape into it, but watch it around these levels because this could be one of the kind of bottoming outs for Cardano. If people get behind the token, we could see this pump up to good heights because if, if you remember back in the glory days, this was trading over $3. Again, now a bit of bad news within the market. We've been seeing over recent days and weeks that there's been a lot of hacks on systems. There's been a lot of rug pulls. There's been a, a, a bit of a bad turn in the market. And this happens all the time in crypto. Crypto is the Wild West and it is important to be vigilant. Here we can see Tron got hacked and the ecosystem importantly hit for 4,600 BNB. Now that equates to 1.25 million. And this has been pumped into Tornado Cash. You will remember back in kind of the early days when the big hacks happened with Axie Infinity that it was reported North Korea took over 600 million and siphoned it out through Tornado Cash. While this is a more modest 2,500 BNB, that's 693,000 and 1.25 million, it is still alarming. And if you want to know more about this, Peck Shield have reported this over on their Twitter and you can get some details if you are an investor in Tron. I wouldn't say it's any time to worry. They do seem to have this in hand but it's always better to look out after your investment. So finally, we're coming on to a bit of bullish news. Now, there is a lot of XRP kind of Ripple fans out there and proper analysts are backing this. And Ripple's token is in the spotlight again with strengthening technical analysis and an outlook to the token that does seem good. And price predictions saying with XRP being back in the news, could this jump to $1 this week or next? Here we can see that it, in the July and October, it did see quite lows, but with the bullish news, there does seem people getting behind it. And at the moment, it's creeping up to near those kind of 50 cent levels. But here it still says to rise to $1. A key level many XRP holders are waiting for means that the price would need to double in just one week. Why it's nice to see XRP pump, I reckon you could probably see it either plateau out a little bit or people hit a resistance level and they could be selling off a little bit. There's not enough new money coming into the market for XRP to double in value. And I still think people are scared of crypto in the bear market. Well, that's pretty much a roundup for all of today's highlighted news. I hope you found this massively interesting. 
if there's anything you want me to cover or you're just happy to look at the news as I bring it with the top headlines, please leave a comment below. But as always, it's important to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, tick that bell notification. And as always, trade smart, trade safe, and don't get wrecked.